Hey, so I'm in Cadiz and I've been asked by you guys to break down how you pull all your money out back out once you buy a property. Okay, let's do it. So I'm in Cadiz in Spain and that's the beach. And here are crazy big Australian trees. Look at the size of them. All right, so basically, um, and I can't give you financial advice, I can just tell you kind of what I know and how I've done it. So this is a generalist speaking. You need to speak to a financial advisor to get the proper advice around specific mortgages, okay? Because that's not my bag. Basically, the whole thing is about you being able to find discounted deals. If you can't find a discounted deal, you can't pull your cash out. Simple as that. So actually, although it's like, oh, I, I can refinance and pull my money out, really what we're talking about is what you need to do is um, being able to find the discounted deal in the first place. Right. So number one, let's, take, t let's keep it so simple and pretend there are no fees involved. Not because there aren't, but just because we want to make it super simple for you, okay? <coughs> so you buy a house... You find a house at 75,000, uh, or you find a house that you're able to purchase at 75,000, but you know it's worth 100,000. So basically the person's selling it uh, discounted. Now, why do people do that? Because they want, there's other things that are more important to them. They want to um, uh, uh, move, they maybe live abroad. Um, there's a whole, you know, they're finding it difficult to manage, whatever. There's a whole bunch of reasons why people sell houses discounted. So let's just take that as given. I know, because we did over 200 of them, 45 million pounds worth of property that we uh, bought as a purchase price of 30 million quid. So we know that happens quite regularly. So, why do you know it's worth 100? Because you've done your valuation. How do you evaluate houses? If you've seen my videos before, you know I'll be saying I want you to do 45 pieces of research. So 20 sold, 20 on the market, and five estate agent valuations. I've got to figure out where I'm going because I'm meeting my friends for, for, for tapas tonight, which would be great. So you've done about 45 pieces of research. You know that um, the house is worth 100 because you've done your maths. You have been able to buy it for 75,000 because the vendor is willing to sell it fast or slow, usually um, at a discounted price. So you buy it for 75,000, you'll have to put in 25% deposit, usually because you get a 75% mortgage. Um, you put some tenants in and then you go back to the bank and you say, listen, um, often you need to wait six months, but not always. There are certainly some mortgage companies that allow you to do this a little sooner, particularly if you're an experienced landlord or you've got what's called commercial funding rather than the vanilla buy to let funding. And then you go back to the bank and you say, listen, I can prove to you that it's actually worth 100,000, even if, you know, maybe you haven't even renovated it. I've definitely done that before because here's my uh, 45 pieces of research just to show you that it's worth 100,000. Look, say Cadiz. And so what I'd like to do is have a 75% loan to value, loan to value of the actual value of the house, which is 100,000. So the bank then says, yep, we've done, we've sent a surveyor out. We agree with you. It's worth 100,000. So we're going to give you 75% loan to value, which is 75,000. You with me? So you bought it for 75, knowing it was discounted. When you bought it, you knew it was worth 100 because you wouldn't have bought it if you didn't know what it was actually worth. You've put some tenants in, you're proving it can make money. You, you either have waited six months or you've found a commercial funder that will do this before the six months. I tend to do it before the six months. You've gone back to the bank and you've said, look, it's worth 100,000. Um, you've given them evidence. They've sent the surveyor out and they say, yeah, it's worth 100,000. So they're going to give you 75% loan to value. Loan, so they're lending you 75% of what it's worth. It's worth 100,000. They're going to give you 75 grand. Do you see? That's you said, thank you very much. You pulled all your own money out. Now, you only own 25% of this house. The bank owns 75% of the house, but you've pulled all your cash back out. Why? Because you were so good at sourcing discounted deals in the first place. So you can take that money and go again. Now, I know in this example, we've been super simple and we've ignored all fees, all, all taxes, everything. But that's because I just wanted to make it super, super simple how you can pull all your cash back out. So basically, if you get deals discount, about, about half of my houses, I pulled all the cash back out. The other half I had to leave some money in and, and calculate the payback period. But if you can source discounted deals, and then after six months or during the six month period, you go back to your bank and say, listen, actually it's worth a lot more. I can prove it to you. Can you do another survey, please? Uh, and I'd like 75% loan to value, please. And you pull your cash back out. So this means you need to check with your financial advisor when you're buying a house with the mortgage company that they're a company that will do, a, it's called a further advance. 
you need to check what the um, terms and conditions are on that further advance. Some companies, uh, some banks will give you the same uh, interest rate, some a little bit naughty and they charge you much higher interest rate. But what it means is you're very efficient with your money, pull your money back out, guess what? You go buy another house. I hope you understood that. If not, comment below, uh, let me know and I'll shoot another video for you because you guys asked for this one.